So Georgi Dimitrov was a Bulgarian communist who is extremely interesting. He did a ton of things. He helped lead the uh, Comintern alongside of Stalin, so the Communist International. At one point, Dimitrov led a geographical wing of the Comintern, and at another point, he headed the Comintern. Um, he was the first Bulgarian president. Uh, the position is it's the equivalent of president. It's very American of me to call him the president. It has a different title, but the equivalent position. Uh, the first communist uh, leader of Bulgaria. He helped lead the first armed anti-fascist uprising in history in Bulgaria in the early 20s. So he's quite the figure. Um he finds himself after, in 1933, he is hiding in Germany under a fake name, him and some other Bulgarian communists, uh, because he has a death sentence hanging over his head in Bulgaria for revolutionary communist work that he was doing there. So then he finds himself in Germany in 1933 in a Yahtzee courtroom being accused of the Reichstag fire. Um, which is the uh, parla is a parliament building that got lit on fire um, and a very mysterious and exciting trial happened. Dimitrov, Popov, Tanev, Torgler, and Marinus van der Lubbe, uh, five accused communists. Um, all five were socialists of different uh, or communists of different variety. Um, in any ways, uh, Dimitrov ends up having to defend himself, and he also does a spectacular job of defending communism itself to an international audience and uh, to the German people and within a Yahtzee courtroom, and he gets off. Um, Marinus van der Lubbe is the only one who the Yahtzees uh, executed for that fire. Um, some other interesting things, if you read Dimitrov's diary, there's one story in it where they talk about how Dimitrov and other communists, they dress up as sailors and they secure themselves a boat in order to sail past em enemy lines into the USSR for a uh, big old communist meeting. Um, so he's kind of like the Bulgarian communist James Bond, right? And uh, there, I mean, honestly, there's just so many things that he's done and that he did. Uh, if you ever get a chance, it's free online. Check out the Fash Offensive uh, and the tasks of the task of the international working class. Uh, the Fash Offensive is a short version. It's free online. It's a great book. It's very very short, uh, and he kind of gives us some definitions and ways to fight the Fash. All right, solidarity.